Satisfaction, one of the songs that put the Rolling Stones on the map in 1965. Many would call the Stones the most iconic rock and roll band of all time. And they are the centerpiece of a new exhibit at New York's HG Contemporary Gallery called Mick, Keith, Charlie, R Ronnie, Art and Objects. And here to tell us all about it is gallery director Philippe Hertla Guggenheim. Welcome, Philippe. It's so great to have you here. Thank you very much, Tanya. What is it about the Stones? I mean, I personally love the Stones, but what is it about that band that is endless? fascinating. Of course the music is amazing, but is it more than just the music? Well, they've been around for so long, and I think, you know, after breaking up several times and coming back together, there's not that many bands that have achieved that. And, uh, you know, Mick could have gone on his own many times, but they always stuck together, him and Keith and, you know, Ronnie, and, yeah, you know, they making did. a great band, so... And you are a collector. When did you start collecting Stone's memorabilia? I started collecting uh, not too long ago. I actually had a private collector that I partnered with who um, gave me access to a lot of the pieces and consigned them uh, to HG Contemporary. So uh, that way we were able to amass right. this, this beautiful collection. And, and you brought some of the things from the collection right yes. here in the studio, which is awesome. Tell us about these two guitars. Well, they were both uh, painted by Ronnie Wood who's uh, this incredible guitarist, but also an incredible artist. Uh, so this is obviously the, the famous Rolling Stones um, logo, and uh, this is a lyric from the song Midnight Rambler. Were any of these used in performance, do you know? Most likely this one is mm -hmm. just something I cannot confirm, but right. it looks pretty used to me. So Philippe, tell us about some of the pieces you're most excited about. Let's start with this Peter Beard. Yeah, so this is a uh, Peter Beard Large Polaroid. Uh, it has the double exposure and obviously Mick uh, predominantly in the middle. And uh, it's from the famous tour in 1972 where Peter Beard, as you know, was uh, commissioned by the Rolling Stones to follow them around and create all this amazing photography. So that's why Mick looks so young there. <laughs> that's, uh, that's definitely he's, still, he's still in great shape. He is, absolutely. Yeah. And this collage was done more recently? Peter Beard? Yeah, did. this is a contemporary work. So it was done about four years ago. It's beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of handwritten notes, and lyrics, and, you know, paintings. Yeah. He, he really, uh, Peter Beard traveled with the Stones for two months, I understand, during that tour and became good friends with Mick Jagger during the, during the time. Yeah, with the Stones. Uh, yeah. they, they had an amazing friendship. They actually, uh, they still do, most likely. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. But back in the day, there's a lot of literature about how they all party together in, the, in Montauk and uh, so they, must have been fun those yeah. were the days right <laughs> those were the days so yeah. there's also a fantastic Jeff Koons I guess is it a concert poster or yeah it's a backdrop of a uh, that he was commissioned to do Beautiful. and uh, this is the um, an edition of the the original mm -hmm. an edition of a thousand and all band members and Jeff uh, Jeff Koons signed it. Great, and so that's from the uh, Lix tour. From the Lix World Tour in 2002, yes. Really, really fun. And how much is this? This is $10,000. That's fantastic. Yes, beautiful, very unique. And then like, you, like we found out, Ronnie Wood was also a talented painter, who knew? So yes. he did several paintings, including this amazing piece of Muhammad Ali. Yes. And tell us why this is significant. So Ronnie and Mohammed had a, an amazing friendship since the uh, the seventies till about uh, till you know um, Mohammed's passing and uh, they this is the famous knockout of Sonny Liston nineteen seventy eight and it's signed and, by both Muhammad Ali and Ronnie Wood yes yeah, so there's one original painting and then they created an edition of a hundred and really worked on it together uh, there's some amazing photography you know, them both together. And each of them has a different famous Mohammed uh, quote on it. And then both of them signed, as you say, yes. Very fun, and how much is this piece? This is $15,000, All yeah. right, now yeah. what are some other interesting things at the exhibit that we can see if we go down to the gallery space? Well, this, you have to come down. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will. <laughs> um, well, there's some great pieces by German artist Sebastian Kruger mm -hmm. of all band members. There's some great uh, tongs, you know, made out of Coke cans yeah. that are really cool. Uh, there's... Now, are you expecting the Stones themselves to stop by and check it out? Well, I can't say that. I don't want people to camp outside. Right. <laughs> Waiting for them to come. <laughs> but, uh, no, they're... 
Most likely. Most yes. likely they'll yes. come. All right, well, Philippe, thank you so much for coming to tell us about this. Thank you so much, Tanya. It was great. Thank you. And that's your lunch break for today. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.